You probably know him from his role as Finch in the American Pie trilogy, and now he's on a very popular show on CBS called Scorpion. Get Eddie K. Thomas in here. It's already been renewed for its second season. Nice. All Let's right. See, Congratulations on that. This is what you guys look like. <laughs> yeah, we Thanks know for coming in, like. man. Thanks for letting me sit here. Do we have beers? I saw beers in the fridge. No. It's St. Patrick's Day. Do you want a beer? It's 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Guinness? Welcome to the Heidi and Frank show. I also don't drink. Uh, uh, yeah. So I think that's a no. Did yeah. you drink Have you time? guys been drinking? Not yet. Not yet. No. We're waiting on you it's, to get here. You want your guests to be drunk. It's a little... But not the host. Yeah. That's actually good radio. Well, we used, we used I'm sorry, to Sorry, I'm drink. not going to get drunk for you. And we used to do... Uh, Middays, right? You know, from ten to two, it was more acceptable to start drinking around noon. I remember your middays, ten to two. But uh, mornings, we tried to do a couple morning drinking shows, work. and people just look down on that. That's a real problem. <laughs> it is. Yeah, that's when you though know you it's have accepted a real in some countries. It's not a good. It thing. It is funny though, like when you when you're at work, obviously not, or even when you're at home on the weekends. But when you're on vacation, somehow you're like, oh, we're down in Cabo. I can have a, a margarita. At Probably 10 in the still a bad thing. Well, I know, but you're like, oh, we're in Cabo Some vacation. on vacation. Somehow not so much. <laughs> In L.A., but in New York today, there's just this understanding oh. that everyone's allowed to be drunk the moment the sun comes up. That's right. Yep, the big parade. Yeah, where's your green, man? It's St. Patrick's Day. I didn't realize it till I was in the car. Mm. Green um, underwear? He's kinky. He likes I getting got, pinched uh, by strangers. What do you got? No, what do you got? I got, no, I got nothing. No, the black and gray. But he is nothing. wearing a blue hat. And I, I had a booger in my nose when I got here. <laughs> I I heard, we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. Put it on the booger board before you leave. <laughs> Got it. Uh, Celebrity booger board. I heard the blue used to be the color, and it's changed at some point to green. So it, technically, you're just celebrating old really school. old yeah, school. I'm old school. Yeah, I'm old school. Day. Yeah, with the I'm blue. a Renaissance man. Mm-hmm. With the blue hat. Uh, congratulations on Scorpion. Thank you so much. Did you ever think at, at, that uh, Finch from American Pie would be a part of an international network of super geniuses? Um, the answer to that is no. <laughs> Um, no, what, what's your genius on the show? I'm the behaviorist of the show. And that is? Uh, I read people. I, can, I know when you're lying, when you're not lying. Uh, has, it happened, has it happened where like, people are such fans of the show that they, when they actually, you know, when people start to think that you can actually do that, and they're like, hey, so uh, can you like read me? And like to, like, when they see you out, and you're like, it's a role. So the biggest fans of the show have been uh, older women okay. and very young children. Like mm. seven and eight year olds. <laughs> and it's like a CBS genius show where we say a lot of stuff that I don't even understand, but little kids love it. Um, and they they don't really look at me as a behaviorist, but I'm just kind of a superhero, yeah. which is the best thing. That is pretty awesome. Ever. They get that look in their eyes. They're like, you're the guy who catches all the bad guys. Like, oh, wow. And um, that's been really feeding my ego a so, lot. So when you're getting your lines, like you said, it's a lot of big words, a lot of genius stuff you're talking about. You have no idea what you're saying. Did you ever research behaviors to see uh, you know, what it was all about? No, I should have, though. Probably. I, I'm based off a real guy. So okay. the show is uh, loosely inspired by this uh, real life uh, super genius guy named Walter O'Brien. And it's not about his life, but it's loosely inspired by his life. And he has some people. He runs this company that uh, helps out uh, various things. And he has one guy who he brings to uh, meetings where he's trying to win like a $15 million contract to help somebody fix their company. And he'll bring this other guy to the meeting. And after the meeting, that guy will go, you can actually get $25 million from him. Whoa. Just reading the facial features. Just, yeah, you know, how aggressive they are, how needy they are. Um, or being able to play they, poker, just being able to read people's Definitely uh, don't want to play poker with this guy. No. <laughs> um, but the way it works on the show is, you know, the, we all have certain superpowers, if you will, that make us able to do anything and everything. If you could actually have a superpower, be a superhero. What Invisibility. Would, Invisibility. Oh, yeah. What would so you do I with it? Watch women get naked. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Such a guy. Yeah. I mean, I'm down is with there that, anything though. better than that? Uh, mine would be, I think, I want to fly. I want to be able to get some, pl- not fly necessarily, but uh, teleport somehow. What was like, the movie I, I hate with to Kevin Bacon where he was able to get invisible and then he went in and had was that it invisible Kevin man? Bacon? Invisible wasn't man? Wasn't Kevin Bacon the... the, the uh, wasn't Chevy Chase the invisible man? Uh, no, but, <laughs> he the, was but there was a scene that he... The, he hollow he, man. He, he, yeah, hollow man. He'd look across the building into this woman and watch her get undressed and he got invisible and went over and hung out in her room and Here's there was a the whole thing. sex scene where we he wasn't there. We can fly. The airport is really <laughs> close no, to here. No, it takes too we long. Can't. No, I want to teleport. Right, well, I want to be like, I want to like, like. You want to fly without the security line. That sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. She doesn't want to wait that long on her vacation morning drink. She wants to <laughs> teleport to wherever she yeah. is and right Come to on, a mimosa. Got, Lava on, flow. I, I, I gotta get there. Come on. Uh, absolutely. Um, was there a time when you did drink and you just said give it up? 
Um, yeah, I mean, I was never the craziest drinker in the world. <clears throat> uh, I just stopped uh, for a minute, and uh, then I just realized kept how going. good you felt. Yeah. You know what happens is I sleep really well. Mm-hmm. It's really nice to go to bed and fall asleep. Right, and, not pass out. Yeah, not pass yeah, yeah, out yeah. and wake up two hours we later. Don't, um, we don't know anything about that. Um, <laughs> That's the problem. And uh, yeah, and with the show, we work so it's really hard making single camera television. Single cameras. You got to shoot everything at least three times. We shoot uh, just a lot, and we blow stuff up, and we're chasing people, and we're saying all this scientific stuff, and we just have a huge amount of work, and we got to do a whole action movie in like nine days. And literally, when you see the show, it's it's an action movie. Right. Uh, two weeks ago, we uh, crash. We're in a helicopter that crashes into a tree, and the helicopter is about to fall out of the tree, and we got to rappel down. Um, do your own stunts? <laughs> no, not even a little bit. Not even close. I repelled about a foot down <laughs> to the ground. We got the shot. All right, bring in the, the yeah, stunt man. Yeah, they got amazing stunt people. But, you know, it's our the stunt crew from Fast and Furious is doing our show. Um, have you guys seen that preview with them falling out of the plane and stuff? Or with him, It's going to make a him, gazillion dollars. Them driving from one building into another building, like from... Several stories. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't be promoting that movie, but I, we have that we have that <laughs> stunt crew. crew. They really dropped those cars out of the planes. Whoa. There weren't people in them when they shot it, but they were like, "No, let's just drop the cars out of the plane." <laughs> and that's that's a, that's a one take right there. Yeah, he said a lot of money. We better get this right. Oh, I forgot to hit record. Oh shoot. Damn okay, it. let's do it again. Uh, Eddie K. Thomas hanging out with us from uh, the show Scorpion on CBS plays the role of Toby. It airs Mondays at. Uh, 9 p.m. It aired last night. You just missed it. You got to uh, wait till next week. I got to ask you because uh, Catherine McPhee is on the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does she smell like? Uh, 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 beauty. Yeah, he's had, he's had a crush on her you have since a big crush American on her? Idol. Well, I think everybody has a crush on her. She just says something about her that is just. It's, it's so... funny you ask what she smells like because my nickname for her on set is Fabric Softener. Oh. <laughs> oh. Because she just, as you can imagine, we, we all get along wonderfully and we're having a great time, but we work long hours. And whenever she comes in, maybe it's just because she does sing a lot. And whenever she th sings, things get a little bit nicer. Aww. And uh, it's not because she smells like fabric softener, but she just brings a softness and wonderfulness for the wherever entire she goes. Set. And I think that's why she's so popular and a celebrity. And, you know, she, she has uh, that special quality. She has that, that, that quality. Thing. She also sings actually like an angel. If mm. angels sang it would they would sound like that um i can't wait to have her in here and ask her what you smell like yeah please don't ask <laughs> <laughs> we spent a lot of time together yeah, yeah but i was uh, looking they at, don't call me fabric <laughs> right uh, eddie k thomas hanging out with us uh, when i was looking at your bio it says uh, since 2005 you've been heard as the voice of barry in uh the animated series yes Amer i American. <laughs> And I didn't know that. And my my son, huge yeah. Seth MacFarlane fan, Family Guy, American Dad. And I was like, "Hey, I'm uh, Barry's coming in tomorrow." He's like, "Really?" I mean, he was so excited that I'm meeting so Barry. So the show I'm on now, I'm very lucky. We get like 15 million viewers a week, and American Dad. I don't know the numbers, but it's nowhere near that. People get so excited about American <laughs> Dad. Yeah. That show, people go crazy. It's been on for 10 years now. Right. Right. Uh, and it's gotten better and better and better. Yeah, I got really lucky with that. I auditioned to play the role of the son, and I used that ridiculous voice um, only because it just came out of me at the audition. And then, like, it wasn't I, like that you were driving over going, ah, ah. no. Like, I what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I walked into the audition having no idea what to do, and I was imitating Seth Green's voice on Family Guy. And he does uh, Brian, that kind of thing. And I just kind of got it more excited. <laughs> <laughs> And it came out of me, and then I get a call a few days later from Seth MacFarlane, who I didn't know the voice of uh, Brian the dog is just Seth's voice. And I got a call from Brian the dog, and I'm like, what is going on here? That is awesome. And, um, Did they have a picture of Barry? Uh, that they, okay, this is the character, and you kind of just said, okay, look at him. No, when I got it, he no just, because I had auditioned for a different role, and then Seth just was like, now say this. And I just said different lines. Witness crazy boys. <laughs> and uh, now I'm, I'm on American Dad. <laughs> that's, that's I, I don't do any other voice stuff or cartoons. Yeah, but you don't. You didn't know you did Barry. I didn't know you I did Barry. <laughs> Who knows it's what a you got? horrible imitation of Seth Green doing a <laughs> imitation of somebody else. Right. Well, like I said, congratulations on Scorpions. Thank it you. is a very good show, and uh, you play the role of Toby. It's uh, yeah, Scorpions in its first season, but it's already renewed it's for its second season. And it's we're about, one of the success stories of uh, this year, so it's very exciting. Uh, yeah, about an eccentric genius who forms an international network of super geniuses attacks as the last line of defense to save us all.
You're welcome. Who doesn't? I know. Yeah. No kidding. I feel yeah. like I should offer you Thank you, Eddie. You yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a quick break. Come right back. We're having a break. The Heidi and Frank Show. Mornings on 95.5 KLOS. LA's number one talk show in the morning. On air and online at HeidiandFrank.com. Uh-huh. 